Hey, this is Bill and Susan having breakfast at one of Susan's most favorite childhood places on Oahu. That's right, we're at Liliha Bakery's original location near the corner of Kuakini Street and Liliha. Get ready to slather up those butter rolls with jelly on what I ate. Oh yeah. We're revisiting my old neighborhood bakery, Liliha Bakery near the corner of Liliha and Kuakini Streets. They're known for their cocoa puffs and butter rolls served with the nuclear red jelly. During my childhood, on our way home from school, classmates would stop at the bakery window and watch the cake decorators at work. We all had our favorite cake decorator to watch. Everyone grew up. After the original owner retired and sold, the current owner opened multiple locations of Liliha Bakery on the island. The bakery is popular everywhere, but exists only on Oahu. <laughs> This is one of the very few places I'll eat pancakes. They're nice and fluffy, but I don't feel like eating a pancake today. I'm getting a local moco with a side order Portuguese sausage. While Susan loves her loco moco, I decided on a simpler breakfast. No eggs ordered for my breakfast, as I figure an egg in paradise is still an egg. What I wanted to savor were the Portuguese sausage and Liliha Bakery's butter rolls, two things I can't really get easily off island. I guess you can kind of call this Bill's Big Breakfast in Paradise. Ten years from now, if people keep ordering that, it may become a thing. You'll have the Loco Moco, and you'll have a Bill's Big Breakfast. This is the Liliha Bakery famous butter roll. Everyone's after the recipe, no one's been able to duplicate it. All the bakers would say is that it's based on a Parker House roll. It's always served with a little side of their nuclear red jelly. and. One of my friends a long time ago didn't want to use it until he discovered it's jelly roll jelly. Never thought to put lemon juice on papaya till I went to Liliha Bakery. It really brings out the flavor of the papaya and makes you appreciate its sweetness. Fresh papaya. I think it's the uh, paradise. Rainbow, Rainbow sunrise. Rainbow sunrise variety of papaya with a little squeeze of lemon juice. Mm. The lemon juice really brings out the flavor. This is the first time I ever had papaya where they they gave you a squeeze of lemon there. Try it ten years ago, and now I'm hooked. Try a little bit of this um, jelly, jelly donut jelly on the, uh, the butter roll. Mm. That butter roll is very, very light and fluffy. And it's delicious with this uh, uh, jelly donut jelly. It's sort of like, kind of like a raspberry flavor. Mm -hmm. If you live here, you don't question the color, you just eat it. Yeah, I can't describe the bread. It's, 
I, I think Susan's right. It's it's close to a Parker House roll, but extremely fluffy and light. And when it's toasted, it's got that nice nutty crunch of the uh, the brown butter on it. And this is the Hawaiian Portuguese sausage. It's very, very similar to the ones made by the Portuguese descendants on the East Coast. However, a major difference is that this has a bit more fat in it, and it's also sweeter because it was made by people working on sugar plantations, and sugar was readily available and quite cheap at the time. I'm gonna give the Portuguese sausage a try. So whenever we come to Hawaii, we just pack the suitcase full of frozen Portuguese sausage, and it's and it's grilled at home. So what what makes really Ha Bakery's Portuguese sausage the the most distinct thing that I see is actually these nice grill marks that are on the sausage. Because when we cook it at home, we just fry it up in a pan, but they seem to have it on a nice you know. Uh, grill uh, that gives those nice little charred bits there and you know visually I mean I eat with my eyes sometimes and uh, this is very visually appealing oh it's that flame broiled taste that that adds a little bit of extra to the Portuguese sausage That's delicious. It's got that charred flavor that kind of almost reminds me of the grilling that you get on a good steak. Or, I mean, on the lower level, it's even like the grilling you get on a flame grilled, you know, Burger King burger versus a McDonald's burger. Well, I'm going to have to remember to set up the grill at home uh, to do Portuguese sausage instead of just frying it up on the pan. It, it just work. adds a, another level of flavor. This is a perfectly ripened the papaya. I don't have to fight with it in the, with a spoon. You know this jelly? This man, jelly donut jelly is a lot runnier than I remember. Maybe they. Maybe they did that to make it easier to spread onto the uh, onto the butter roll. Hey, Corky. Hey, Corky. Hey, It's gonna be the three of them, right? Uh, who do you want? Can we get, um... You want one extra? Two, five, I can do that. Because she wants one and I want one. Yeah, one, one, yeah? Okay, two, one, one, one. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. I'm so sorry. It was probably our call. Okay, let me take the order. I'm sorry. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I remember her name, her name, but... Of course, she's not going to remember me. She sees thousands of people a year. Oh, oh really? Yeah. That's cool. Okay, okay. You want the last butter roll? Go ahead. Okay. Nice water. Mm. 
Butter roll jelly on the Portuguese sausage. That's that's like candy. Local Moco voted by the people living on Oahu as the best local Moco. I like to cut my patty into little pieces first. Faster eating. Okay. There's a slight crunch on, on the patty, they grill it. And if you're lucky enough to get a seat right by the grill, you can see them growing it on the same mm -hmm. place that they grow their Portuguese sausage. And there's a, right now there's a flame on the patio. How's that egg and rice there? And the rice is cooked perfectly according to local style. This is a short grain. Um, if I would guess it, I would guess it to be a Hinoti Calrose rice. And with the over easy egg, it's a perfect combination that tells me I am home. So it's pretty crowded here at the uh, at the uh, lunch counter. Um, it's a Saturday morning. Yeah, so uh, so we're good, just going to finish our meal here because I think you know the the management is can get pretty uh, impatient if we're yeah, sitting here talking. There's always a line of people waiting. If you're here and there's no seats, you just patiently wait until someone vacates your seat and you uh, take it. There's no one going to be directing you to seating. No, I'm good. I, I'm happy with what I got here. Help yourself to some butter roll and Portuguese yeah. sausage. They come with you.
dough and then they slather it with butter and then throw it on the grill. Delicious. I don't have a spoon or a spatula. I suppose it's quite impolite to lick your plate in public. out there who subscribe to our channel. We hit 300 last week. Again, we're trying to hit that 1,000 mark, so while you're enjoying this snapshot of Lili Ha Bakery's grill in action, please hit the subscribe button and like.